Hey punks, welcome back. In the last video we've discovered how to let the character controller disappear or at least be enabled once we've killed the character so that we can walk through the character without you know getting stopped but we created a new little problem here in the bottom where it says hey I'm still trying to move this character around and the character controller doesn't exist anymore so the behavior tree is still trying to do something with it or the AI engine and it won't let it so that's what's causing those errors well that's actually pretty easy to solve uh, let's go back to our shock trooper here scroll down and then look inside of the uh, zombie AI we're gonna open that up and then we've already uh, done the code here where it disables the collider but what we really need to disable there as well is the script that keeps it from triggering. Now if I go back into Unity, you can see there are a couple of other scripts that are attached to uh, the Shock Trooper here. And um, so we have a Rain Agent and we have a Character Controller AI. And this script pretty much is what moves around the character. Now this script is not editable because it's part of the, uh, of the you know, a closed code base that comes with you know rain indie but uh, that's no bother we can just disable this script from another script uh, and that's what we're going to do so open up the zombie AI once again and first I'm going to make a new variable up top here and I'm going to call it underscore CC which stands for character controller and the underscore is really you just the way I like to type it because that is just a variable that it would not be accessible from other scripts it's just a preference really and in JavaScript, you don't really need to tell JavaScript what type this variable is, but it is good habit to do so, so I'm going to do that anyway. And the type here is derived from the rain class, which is our AI engine, so it's rain.motion dot AI character controller, and that's it. So that is the type that we want to um, access with this variable. And then in the start function, when the game starts, we uh, want to uh, set the CC variable and give it some content. So I'm going to do that here, underscore CC equals, and then game object dot get component. Now what that does is it accesses the game object, which is the character, and then a component that's attached to it. And in this case, it's the script we're looking for. So um, now we want to force this to uh, come back with uh, the type that we've, you know, typed out here. So I'm going to copy this, and in get component we're going to add another dot, and then our opening and closing brackets, and we're going to force this to be of a type rain dot motion dot AI character controller, and then the accolades for the function. So if you don't have a clue what's going on here, don't worry about it. Basically what we're doing, we're, so we're setting the character controller here to the character controller script that is a component of the game object. So now all we need to do is disable it when the character dies. So we're going to do that here. Underscore CC dot enabled equals false. And that's really it. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in here as well and in here as well, and I'm going to save that then pop right back over to Unity to play this in the game. I'm going to turn my gizmos off because it's annoying and I'm going to turn off maximize on play uh, because it's also annoying. At least in this case we want to see what's going on in the console. Let's hit play here. I'm going to walk over and pick up that gun one more time. <laughs> Reload that weapon. Here we go. Character shot once, shot twice, dying. Character controller is gone and no errors left in the console and we can walk right through him. Ain't that a novel idea. So yeah, there we have it. We've solved all the issues with the characters and now we can move on into actually uh, making this character hurt us, which is pretty cool. And so we're going to do that next.